Hello everyone, myself Mohamed Imran Ali and I am here to give a presentation on the topic Determination of Moment of Inertia of a Metallic Cylinder. Moment of Inertia Moment of Inertia is the resistance that is shown by the object to its Rotation is called the moment of inertia and is denoted by the symbol I. And the formula of moment of inertia is given by I equals to L by omega, where L equals to net angular moment and omega equals to angular velocity. Moment of inertia of a solid cylinder. For determining the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder, we will use the formula I equals to half mR square, where m equals to total mass and R equals to radius of the cylinder and the axis. For derivation of moment of inertia of a solid cylinder, we will take a solid cylinder with mass m, radius r, and length l. And we will calculate, the, calculate its moment of inertia about the central axis. Here we have to consider a few things. The solid cylinder has to be cut or split into infinitesimally the thin rings and each ring consists of the thickness of dr or del r with length l and we have to sum up the moments of infinitesimally these thin cylindrical cells hollow cylinder. The moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder is given by the formula I equals to half m r2 square plus r1 square where r1 is the internal radius and r2 is the external radius. In moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder with a thin wall is expressed by the formula I equals to m r square where I equals to mass and r equals to radius. For calculating the moment of inertia of a hollow cylinder, we have to take a hollow cylinder which consists of inner radius R1 and outer radius R2 with mass M and length L. We will calculate its moment of inertia about the central axis. And before derivation, we have to be aware of certain things that is, the cylinder is split into infinitesimally thin rings and each ring will have a thickness of dr with length l. Moment of inertia of cylinder about perpendicular axis is given by the formula Ix equals to 1 by 4 mr square plus 1 by 3 m l square where r equals to radius and l equals to length. Generally, generally the derivation in, involves three primary steps and they are splitting the cylinder into infinitesimally thin disk and stating the moment of inertia and the second one is using both parallel and perpendicular axis theorem to determine the expression and number three is integrating over the length of the cylinder.